mother-children relationships can sometimes get pretty complicated. Lalo na pag nagkakaedad na mga nanay natin. I remember when my nanay Tessie was still alive, we lived with our grandparents and she would often get into these nasty arguments with her mother, Lola Mame. Kung ano-ano yung pinag-aawayan nila from how to maintain a home to how to raise children. And it usually ended up with my Lola having this smug, self-righteous look as if saying, Alam ko ang sinasabi ko, mas alam ko kaysa sayo. And my mom walking out in frustration and crying in her bedroom. It can be difficult for adult children to live with their parents, especially when one has to deal with aging mothers, when age has slowed them down, and disease has brought on all sorts of pain and aches to their formerly healthy bodies, or when inactivity has brought boredom and inaction to formerly active minds, most especially when mothers who used to be the whole world to their children feel no longer needed with their children all grown up and matured and having their own lives to lead and families to raise. And I believe it can be acutely more so when dementia has started to set in and the loss of memory has begun to affect her behavior and consequently her relationships. Aging mothers have this desire to still be useful, to still have a purpose, to still be needed as mothers, they are in a fight to still be relevant in the lives of their children, for their voices to still have weight in the hearts of their kids. Unfortunately, this often runs into conflict with their adult children's desire to make their own marks as adults, to have their own say in how they raise their own kids. Mothers and children with contending agendas placed in the same room can make for a pretty explosive situation. I think it is important for us to understand that mothers never stop becoming mothers to their children, no matter the circumstances they find themselves in, no matter the stage of life they have reached. In a way of speaking, you could say, once a mother, always a mother. We can learn a bit of wisdom from this passage in the book of Proverbs. Listen to your father who gave you life and do not despise your mother when she is old. The book of Proverbs is a collection of God-inspired principles for living. And this part of the book of Proverbs talks about the collected wisdom of the Hebrews on how a child can grow up to succeed in life and to escape harm and failure. And we learn from this passage that we are not to despise our mother when she is old. To despise a person is the direct opposite of love. It means no longer holding someone in high esteem or even regarding her with scorn or contempt. Kung gusto natin magtagumpay sa buhay, wag na wag natin kakausapin ang mga nanay natin ng may bahid man lang ng paghamak o pambabastos. Always, always hold her in high esteem. So if you and your mom are set on a collision course, Never, ever be disrespectful to your mom. Your mom means well. She wants the best for you, even if her idea of what's best may be radically different from yours. Don't close your mind to what your mother wants to say. Stay open to her suggestions, even if they sometimes feel like impositions or intrusions. She's still your mom and will always be your mom. So you need to always hold her in high regard. Sometimes moms just want to be heard, to be assured that their opinions matter. The best thing to do is to listen to her. Remember that as you continue to open your life to your mother, to still be a mother to you, faith matters too.